Warning, Caffeinated Conquest features adult nerds using adult language. Seriously, don't say we didn't warn you. Okay. Yeah, knocking down my dungeon walls. Alright, so anyway, here's the situation uh, from the last session. Uh, so, Targrim fought himself a beetle and got his ass whooped. Uh, he is now lying unconscious in the other room. You guys ventured into this room with a fire burning in a brazier in the center. And within the fire, Xavier discovered two dead bodies. And so he was able to extract a dagger from one of the bodies, a very nice looking dagger, one that seemed almost otherworldly uh, in its appearance. And, but as he drew the dagger from its sheath, a large shadow began to draw up on the wall behind him and sort of interpose itself into the third plane. And uh, that is where we find ourselves now. So, Colmorn, upon seeing this horrible undead monstrosity, is going to wet his pants and faint. And the shadow raises its sickly black talon and attempts to assault Archer Free with his mighty 12 plus. God damn it, you think I'd know how to read monster blocks better right now? Is that a Half-Life reference? I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, just checking. Okay, so 16 versus Archer's AC. Nope. Excellent. So then nothing is going to happen to Archer. Uh... <laughs> Ever! After the shadows, Vyakti. Um... I'm gonna go into the corner and, and I guess I'll take a shot at him. Alright, uh, what corner would you like to move to? the corner closest to me. That is a 21. A 21 hits. Or it would. But as your arrow attempts to strike home, it passes harmlessly through the creature and sticks with us in the wall behind it. Does you not see that from me? No, there's a shadow in my way. Suddenly, you guys hear footsteps behind you. I'm gonna raise my bow. <laughs> well, you already spent your bow. Ah, but everything is pretty action. Yeah. And a, a very large, rugged-looking wild man uh, approaches <laughs> from behind <laughs> the Octi. Uh oh. Well, this would be your cue. Um. I'd like to charge. Are you just gonna just... No, no introduction, you're just gonna go hit something? Pretty large. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> What's going on? There's shadows everywhere! Oh, yeah. That'd be the strangest bank robbery ever. I assume 10 misses. Uh, 10 is definitely a miss. Should roll the one one. Archer. Hmm... What do I want to do? Um, I have a stick, right? Uh, yeah. I have a torch. You have a torch, yes, ma'am. I'm gonna light it. So you can get your torch on. <laughs> okay, so you use your move action to draw the torch from your bag, and then your action is to light it in the fire. Mm -hmm. So I'm, say. Well, alright, I'll let you take a five foot step. And. Yeah. Uh, let me see. One second. Suddenly, I com the dungeon master completely forgets how much damage a flaming torch does. Okay, we'll say one of these Um. So, the shadow will turn towards this strange wild man that charged it without so much as a how do you do, and reach forward with its grasping, inky, black, tendril-like hand. Oh. 16 hit you? On the dot. Yes, it does. 
Uh, now let me see here. Woo! You're, you're gonna like this one. Why Probably not. You just got... I, I, I don't understand the reference. Yeah, I don't. Terrible game. I, I, it, it, okay, yeah, it was bad. But <laughs> I, I, I wish that it was a good idea and it could have been better executed. You take four strength damage. Oh. That's okay, you don't care about strength, right? Right? Mm -hmm. You bastard! So your strength your strength modifier goes down by two. Uh -huh. After the shadow is the Oh. I take four damage, bro. I, I guess, uh... Four strength damage. After seeing the idea of using light against it, I'll take out my torch and light it as well. Okay. So that's gonna be your turn. Ha! <laughs> 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 Shoot the torch out of the yeah. board. <laughs> Alright. I hope I'm holding the right hand then. Uh, Torish, it is your turn again. <laughs> Bastard! Oh my god. It's better than the one. You roll balls. Better than the one. So, not not only does your hammer not pass through it, it you completely whiff over it. Oh, I'm gonna shift backwards. Alright, Archer Freeman, what you got? <sighs> I'm gonna go smack the shadow with the torch. Alright, make your attack roll versus this incorporeal being of darkness. Darkness. Uh... Fuck. Yeah, yeah, that's that's about what you rolled. That's a, that's a what? A sixteen? Well, no. Yeah, whatever. That's a sixteen with a melee attack. Bullshit. Well, that's right. It's strength. Sorry. <laughs> and I, I don't have weapon for nether. Torches don't count. I don't know. It's an improvised weapon. No. You got a ten. That's right. So you you fail to bop at one with the torch, but the shadow kind of recoils and hisses. At the uh, uh, also, how the fuck did you move? Shit. Oh, you took a five foot step. Yes. Okay. So yes, it recoils and hisses as you wave the fire. Hey. Be gone, demon! And it's going to attempt to lash back at you with a shadowy claw and miss terribly. Vyakti. Can I fire my torch at my bow? <laughs> I I want to let you do that so bad. Uh, do you have point blank shot? No point blank mines. No. Do you have precise shot? No. No, you need you need point blank to get precise. I'll I will I'll let you fire it with a minus four penalty. But considering the shadows already engaged with Xavier, that's gonna be a minus eight. I got this. Okay. Do a twenty. Do a twenty. Come on, motherfucker, do a 20. Ah. What'd you get? Okay, wait. It's a minus 8, so it's actually only a minus 3, so that's... Yes. That's a 15. You, you hit the shadow with your flying torch. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the the the, the <laughs> your airborne torch whizzes past Torish's ear and just, <laughs> and the shadow shrieks as your flames touch it. So go ahead and roll a d6. Do, do I add all my modifiers? What? You technically fired it out of your bow. Yeah, I did. Uh, it it would only take the fire damage though. Oh. There we go. Six. Six. All right. I, I, you can add your. I don't know. My answer's plus four. <laughs> uh, so the, the the flames sort of streak through it and disperse it ever so slightly as your torch passes through, and the shadow will take six fire damage. Ooh. All right, you guys, I'll link the rest of you. Nah, oh, that was nice. Torch. I don't have another torch. Uh, I'm gonna light a torch. Okay. What? Magical fire. spells? These are blood rangers. You might have those. Not this level. Uh, so you can 
Soon doesn't save our lives. You can step over Colmorn's unconscious urine soaked body and stick your <laughs> stick your torch in the flame. Okay, I'll do that. Uh <coughs> Archer. Um, another melee attack. That's not gonna hit. No, it's not, not with a two, my friend. The shadow claws back at you. And also rolls a two. So we, we have a weird stalemate of light versus darkness. It's symbolic, <laughs> really. Darkness. Uh, yucky. Now what? Yeah, that's a really good question. Yeah. Now what, indeed? Can <laughs> I light my my arrows on fire? Um, yeah, you can. How would you like to do that, though? Because an arrowhead's just not going to burn by itself. I could break off the arrowhead. <laughs> what you do is you you stick it into a dead body. <laughs> Until the flesh is burning. Because the tip's not gonna burn, but if there's flesh at the end, it'll burn. It'll sear. And I'll, I'll tell you what. And I'll smell terrible. I'll tell you what, that's a great idea. If you move towards the fire, uh, I will allow you to... Hmm. Allow you to break off an arrow, or arrowhead, and stick it in the fire as an action. You'll have a flaming arrow ready for it. Alright, I'll do that. That, that way I can do my fucking modifiers. It's still only going to take a fire damage. Yeah. I'm going to get the first hit. Um, okay. yeah. So after Vyakti is Taurus. What are you doing? I've lit Torch on fire. I'm going to take a spoon. So. <laughs> Two hand the Torch! I am, actually. Okay, I'll allow it. It's still only going to take the fire damage, doesn't matter. Would you like to power attack the torch? And cleave! Fuck no, I'm cleave not. Xavier! <laughs> <laughs> Xavier doesn't just take fire damage. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not. Alright, well, that was decisive. Uh, Archer. Uh, another melee attack! Yeah, you will! Does it confirm it, confirm it. It's in 5th edition. You confirm. Does it take 2d6 fire? It takes 2d6 fire. You have the power. Four. Four. So, you... I don't know how you critically hit a shadow, but apparently... Right in the dinch. <laughs> I gotta get right in the dinch. <laughs> no, no! <laughs> so, I guess you, your, your flaming swing of light kind of disperses some of its head. Swinging back at Archer. Fifteen? No. All right, Vyakti. Fire! My fire. Fire your laser. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. Six damage. Uh. So you send your flaming shaft through the center <laughs> of the creature, and it, with one final echoing shriek, it just disperses into <laughs> the darkness. Oh. Ah, the doctor said I. Change it when it burns. Oh, this is crazy wrong. Two hundred for everybody and Trevor. Whatever they have, set your XP for. Okay. Uh, oh, fifteen. Thirteen fifty-two. Was it? But now it's fifteen fifty-two. That. You guys are almost level two. Fifteen fifty-two. How do we get? We got uh, two thousand. Oh wait, no, never mind, never mind. That's we right. level at zero that I tried to erase. Um, I would have seen the passed out. Yes, as a matter of fact, you totally did. And you guys remember, uh, through the, in the previous room. Hi, Kyle! Yeah, door. Alright, so you remember in the previous room. Uh,. There was the doorway that you came through, and you didn't you didn't necessarily take every direction you could have. So there's probably a different uh, way you could have gone. And there's a set of descending stairs. And yes, you did see the unconscious dwarf on your way through. Hmm. What did you see with the unconscious dwarf? Did you shake him up? Um, because I don't know what's going on. I'd like to shake and see if he rallies. Which I assume he does. He's unconscious. Uh, he looks. He's God got. Damn. He's got sort of like burns and like welts and puckers on his body. You think he was hit with some kind of acid recently? Yeah. Well, what are you gonna shake yeah. to make him arouse? 
No comment. Um, I'm gonna take the, the health pot out of my inventory and shove it down stuff. Are you gonna do it Now, are you gonna open the pot or just kinda. <laughs> yeah! No, I'm yeah. I'm gonna finish this fucker off! <laughs> shove the health potion off the ass and then you punch his gut. Oh! <laughs> That's just brutal. One guy, one health potion? Um, health pots are, uh,. 2d4 plus 1. No, that's 5th edition. It's d8 plus 1. d8 plus 1. No one likes to get healed for 1. So in the middle, it's 2. So he took... What? What? <laughs> Targrim is now at negative 1. Reroll that <laughs> shit! <laughs> yeah. Targrim is now at 0. <laughs> I, give me the die. One more! Yeah, give, yeah, give, give it to Tom. But I don't I like me tonight. I can't help it. God. There. There we go. Fuck. So, Targrim is now at 3 HP and is conscious. <laughs> and Colborn will also rise, considering he wishes to join us. Yes, no? No? Okay. Colborn is going to stay passed out. This guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, you wake up, Austin, and there's a very large, strange man standing over you wielding a very large hammer. Who's no, 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 no. <laughs> He'll check! You don't know shit, Captain. <laughs> yeah, I think he's dead, but he should have more health potions up his butt. <laughs> right in the ditch. Professional mental pitching. Damn. I'm smart. I'm too smart for that. Taboon!